So when you're creating this meal, who do you have in mind for it? I do have like my family members and my clients. Like if I make a bad mistake here or do something that goes wrong, I'm going to hear about it. This is Trillion's ETF Master Chef, where we interview the chefs of the finance world on their hottest investment recipes. Welcome to Trillions. I'm Joel Weber. And I'm Eric Balchunas. Eric, who's going to join us today? Today we have Ken Nuttall. He's really highly intelligent when it comes to ETFs. He's actually the chief investment officer of Black Diamond Wealth. Okay, Ken, what distinguishes your approach to ETF investing? We're a wealth management firm who does a lot in financial planning. And one of the tools we use is building portfolios, mainly using ETFs. So talk to us about this recipe. Who's this portfolio for? Yeah, so this portfolio here, we call it our Blue Square 7030. We have 70% equities, 30% bonds in it. It's kind of for someone who wants a little bit moderate growth, but was still having some risk protection. Let's look at the core. For example, SPLG. This is an S&P 500 ETF. I call it a clone, but why not use the Vanguard or BlackRock? Like, why this one? It's actually a cheaper stock. So it's a $40 stock as opposed to a $400 one. So we can fit this into more clients' portfolios. You've got EFG. This is an international growth. Now, why not like value or something more so, conservative? So we do have the value and the growth in here. We're kind of using a mix and match. We still think, you know, in any good portfolio, you need international, you need emerging markets. They do add ballast and they do add diversification to it. And you have one in here. This is the Astoria Inflation Sensitivity Portfolio, which we actually highlighted on this show uh, last season. That that holds other ETFs, why? Yeah, so it, it owns not just ETFs, but also owns stocks. Most of the stocks are inflation stuff, which you can kind of think of as energy and cyclicals and that kind of stuff. And when we saw kind of inflation coming, you know, at earlier part of this year, we were kind of looking for some inflation type protection. Another one in here, again, underrated ETF in my opinion, AGZD, which is an interest rate hedged on the ag. So. This is basically like treasuries and corporates, but then you basically hedge out the rate risk. That's correct, that's exactly it. Coming into this year, we saw that rates were kind of so low and your duration on the ag was kind of high relatively. And it was just kind of a bad risk return type trade. So what we kind of did was we went out there and looked at products that have that possibility and AGZD matches that. Let's look at the fixed income, which would be the 30, right? I'm intrigued by here. So the first one right off the bat is a capital group. ETF. Now, Capital Group is the largest active mutual fund manager. They just came into the ETF space. What's this getting you here for bonds? We tend to use more actively managed type assets. And, you know, even though their ETF is only a few months old, you know, the, the logic and the, the, the has been around for 30 or 40 years. It's the same as their Bond Fund of America. So we've used that portfolio previously, liked it, and now it's been translated into the ETF wrapper. And it makes, it makes sense to us. Curious how much you tweak the recipe. Probably every quarter we probably bring in a new ingredient uh, to it. Otherwise, it's really kind of, you know, we think we want to be more risky or we want to lower our risk, we'll, we'll play this. We also take a look at it from a tax scope. That's one of the advantages of having advisors. We can actually look at, at taxes and try to optimize that also. When it comes to new ETFs, like there's 208 launches this year so far, do you look through all of them to see if you might use them almost like new gadgets? We kind of think, hey, is this something that is good for the portfolio today or is this something that maybe I should have in my back pocket for in the future? Why is this the right portfolio for the moment? It's kind of, you know, got the guardrails up. Now, this year's been interesting all the way across because you've lost both money and equities and bonds uh, type thing, but we're trying to mitigate those risks um, out there. And, you know, kind of going forward, we, we kind of see a, a similar volatility, and we kind of think this is the way to kind of mosey on. Kid Nettle, thanks so much for joining us on ETF MasterChef. 